So cause and effect is just basically thinking about uh, showing visual cues as to like, oh, what's happened or what will happen and how will that uh, in fact in impact the area? How will that change the location that you're looking at? And how does that kind of tell a story, you know, from start to finish to the player without having to be told anything directly? So say for instance, you go into a space and you see like a zombie on the floor, or like a dead body, you immediately know, kind of have an idea of like, oh, there's some kind of something that's happened here. Like this person, the zombie's dead. So like, you know, immediately you have context of like, oh, there's, you know, obviously something's happened here. And the same goes for any kind of environmental storytelling. It doesn't have to be a zombie. It could be literally be anything. Like all those kind of things give context clues as to what happened here previously. So we have like the plume of smoke in the background. We have like the blood scattered on the floor. We have these cars and stuff that have been abandoned their spires we know this space has been abandoned but we also have an idea of like oh it was being used for something and now it's not so like we have an idea that that time has passed through here and there's been a bit of big occurrence that have happened here it's like a dangerous occurrence here's a shot from metro same kind of thing we can see the tank we can see like this like you know frozen world so we know that something at, at one point this place was like a healthy you know functioning city uh and then something you know happened with war something happened with an ice age all these kind of things collectively added on to the original series of what once existed here's a shot from last of us we can see here like the dead moose we know that something caused that so we have an idea to be aware we have a more uh like kind of alertness to our surroundings and that kind of carries more immersion with that space and sometimes games will even let you revisit the same location twice to give you context as to actually what happened. So we can see here on the left, we have the original area from Fallout that you start at the beginning of the game and then the later part of Fallout after the post-apocalyptic kind of war happens. So it gives you context as to like cause and event. The last one is going to talk about is focus and direction. So focus and direction is a fun one because you get to kind of be a little more playful with this, with kind of like establishing your own kind of story. So you can see here in Days Gone, they frame the space to give an idea of exactly where the player should be heading, but also they kind of give this in impending sense of danger so that you know you're walking into something kind of more ominous and kind of unsecure. And here they're using bright, you know, bright red colors. They're using lighting. So they're using all their kind of uh, available storytelling elements to really push you here. This is a little bit more over the head, but there's there's more, you know, kind of like lighthearted ways to do this. But this just kind of show like you can really push like the, the direction of the player's view, the viewer in, in general to understand what's the, what things should I be gathering here as, as the story is unfolding. And shot, another shot here for from uh, God of War, same kind of thing. You're really just selling the direction that the, which the player should be moving and which is, what's the more safer location, being here in this cave with all this lava or being out there in this little bit more of an open space. And the last off is the shot from Bioshock, same kind of thing. You're just kind of selling that with the lighting. You're saying like, hey, look here. This is really important for you for the story events. It's kind of like one of the story beats. And so you don't want the, the, the player to miss this kind of space while ex exploring your kind of environment. Thank you.